Lee, get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have made you take it off. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. Let's see... Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just... Wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you. We're not doing this right now. 
Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? What do you think? He's a risk to the group, but... I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him, too. He loses shit like that often? Nah, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death. And it's just more complicated than that. Well, it seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. I tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well... Cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... I've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it because it's hard you stick it out and you help the folks you care about so let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl we should move yeah got at least one shot left let's clear the room before we move on lee figure out where we're headed
All right. That was a long segment, but I don't think it was good. We got a lot of things to do. I'll be back in a second, viewers. And we're back. All right, let's resume the game. Let's see, where were we? Oh, yeah. We were exploring. We had a whole bunch of people in a bedroom, and uh, Krista. Let's talk to our BFF, Kenny. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Didn't even want us to look out the window. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. We just can't get away. No matter what we do. Alright, uh, Krista. You got something to say, I bet. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Very informative. Omid! Our new BFF, you treat us like you're one of our, like you're one of the family. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Yeah, Ben. Still with us, Ben. Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Ben, you're becoming more likable in Chapter Five. What do you call this thing? Art. Art, huh? Let's uh, painting. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. That is pretty interesting. Let's see. We can uh, we can open the door. I don't want to open the television. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this, and they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Can't judge a book by its cover. Okay, dead couple. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. All right. Uh, would it be wise to open the window? I'm not going out this window. We are not going out that window. How about that balcony door? I can't see any other reason not to. It's gotta lead to something good, right? Hopefully. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Well, I guess we're going on the rooftops <clears throat> despite the fact that Lee is infected he's pretty athletic it's pretty crazy but kinda awesome too <clears throat> oh man Oh man, Ben. Ben! Ah! No, Ben! Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Alright. I like the fact that we're not just gonna leave Ben. I'm okay. 